the next question the rate law for a reaction is r is equal to k into concentration of a to the power 2 into concentration of b to the power 2 if the concentration of a is halved and that of b is doubled the rate of the reaction will be this is a reaction in which the rate of the reaction is of second order with respect to a second order with respect to b initially let us say the concentrations of a and b were x and y now what does the question say if the concentration of a is halved it was a initially now it is half a and what about b initially it was b now it is doubled in other words the concentration becomes 2b the question asks as to what will happen to the rate of the reaction when concentration of a is halved and b is doubled so when we write the expression again for the reaction r is equal to k into half of a whole squared into 2b whole squared on simplification r is equal to k into 1 by 4 into concentration of a whole squared into 4 into concentration of b whole squared 4 and 4 gets cancelled therefore the rate will be k into concentration of a whole squared into concentration of b whole squared what was the initial rate it is r is equal to k into concentration of a squared into concentration of b squared what is the rate after you have made the changes as indicated in the question it is again r is equal to k into concentration of a squared into concentration of b squared hence the right answer is it remains the same next question for the reaction a giving products a plot of log a versus t will be a straight line with and the solution for this question is dependent on our understanding of arrhenius equation arrhenius equation is k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t. Arrhenius equation gives the relation between rate constant and temperature. It is of the form k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t where k is rate constant, e a is activation energy or universal gas constant and t temperature in kelvins. Here the factor e to the power minus e a by r t is called Boltzmann factor. Whenever the relationship is exponential, if we have to obtain certain values from the expression, it will be comfortable or more convenient for us to go for the logarithmic form of the equation. In this case, the logarithmic form of the equation would be log k to base e is equal to log a to base e minus e a by r t and when we take it as log to base 10 the equation would be log k to base 10 is equal to log a to base 10 minus e a by 2.303 r t now this equation is an equation for a straight line Therefore, when we plot a graph of log k versus 1 by t, we get a straight line and since the slope is negative here, we get a straight line with decreasing slope. And therefore, the correct answer for this question is negative slope. Here, 
y is log k, x is 1 by t, m is minus a by 2.303 r and since you have a negative sign here, the answer is negative slope. Students going further, there could be a question where you are given the slope of the straight line of the graph of log k versus 1 by t and you will be asked to calculate E a. Now, immediately when you look into the question, it, when it is mentioned as log k versus 1 by t, you should know that the slope is minus E a by 2.303 r. Knowing slope, knowing r, E a can be calculated. Not only that, if you know the value of the y intercept, the y intercept value will be log a to base 10 and if you take the anti log of that you get the a value and therefore, by this expression you will be able to calculate the value of Arrhenius factor as well as activation energy for a reaction and all this information is based on the Arrhenius equation. half-life period of a reaction, we define half-life period of a reaction as the time taken for 50 percent of the reactants to be completed. Now, we go for half-life period because the time taken for any reaction for 100 percent completion is infinite. Half-life period of a reaction will indicate whether the reaction is slow or fast. Lower the half-life period value of a reaction, faster is the reaction. In other words, the rate of a reaction is inversely proportional to the half-life period of a reaction. Now, coming to this question, in a first order reaction, concentration of reactants is reduced to 25 percent in one hour. Let us say the initial concentration of the reactant is 100. During half-life period, the 100 becomes 50. 50 percent is the remaining concentration, 50 percent has reacted during half life period. During the next half life period, 50 percent reduces to 25. Now, what do we see in this equation? The concentration of reactants is reduced to 25 percent. Now, here from 100 to become 25, it takes two half life periods and here the two half life period values will add up to one hour. In other words, two t half is equal to one hour. Therefore, the half life period will be equal to one by two that is 0.5 of an hour and hence the correct answer is 0 0.5.